Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to see the most crucial thing which is salary. Now there are already some videos on it and it's good but here I have used real information by asking my friends, colleagues already working in field to give you exact idea about it. So let us get started. Remember, all salary mentioned here is according to post and can slightly vary from organization to organization and from region to region. Now let us take an example. The salary in Air India is 15,000 in Mumbai for junior tech. It will be 12,000 in Nagpur Air India MRO for the same post. I have segregated salaries according to post and operator wise that is for non scheduled operators NSOP and scheduled operator SOP. Those who don't know what is SOP and NSOP can check out our video by clicking I button here. Now let us see salary for scheduled operations that is airlines. The first post or when you join the airline is trainee tech or apprentice contracted and you will get around 9000 to 12000 now after working for some months you get a tag of junior tag and can earn around 20000 to 25000 then again working for months you become technician and can get from 27000 to 30000 rupees remember i am telling you round of salary and it can vary from paper to in hand now after working for years you become senior tech and can earn up to 40,000. Now, if you continue to be senior tech and not able to become AME, your salary will increase with increase in experience. Sometimes a senior tech can earn more than fresher AME, but after years of experience only. In this field, the experience is everything. Now, if you have cleared all your modules and gained sufficient experience, you can get category A license, that is task training license, and you will become cat A AME and can earn from 75,000 rupees to 80,000. I will soon make a video on type rating. So subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon to get notification. Now again, depending on your work and vacancy for AME, the company will decide to make you a B1 or B2 AME and your post will be junior AME and you can earn now some good salary of 1.25 lakh to 1.5 lakh. Now you will be support staff and if you have completed one year experience as support staff that is junior AME and if there is need for certifying staff in airline or organization, the quality department of airline will give you authorization to certify the aircraft and you will now be called AME that is aircraft maintenance engineer and can earn from 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh per month. Now working for few years, you can get next post as senior AME and can earn hefty salary of 2 lakh to 3 lakh rupees. You might think this is it, you reached the top level. No, it's actually middle and there is more to come. Then working for years, you get an upgrade to group coordinator that is one who is team leader of non-certifying staff and can earn from 50,000 to 75,000 or more. There is similar post and is called shift in charge of AME. Here you can earn from 2.5 to 3.5 lakh and more. Then comes the fleet engineer or fleet chief responsible for entire fleet and can earn from 3 lakh to 4 lakh rupees. Now after gaining some experience for years, you can become line maintenance manager and can earn up to 5 lakh rupees. Now after getting category C license, you can become base maintenance manager and can earn from 5 lakh to 6 lakh. Still, there is more post depending on complexity of airline and its operations. There is post like deputy general manager who earns from 4 lakh to 6 lakh depending on experience. We also have general manager who can earn from 6 to 7 lakh. Again, it varies from airline to airline. Then there is HOD, head of department, who can earn more than 7 lakh rupees. Next, the director of engineering division, DO, can earn up to 8 lakh rupees, but only after years of experience. I think now we have reached the topmost level of engineering division in an airline. 
Remember, these salaries are rounded off for ease. Now let us see post-wise salary for non-scheduled operations that is MROs, flying clubs, charter company or general aviation. Remember, some posts are similar to scheduled operations. The first post is Apprentice, who can earn from 7000 to 8000. Then comes Extended Apprentice, who can earn up to 12000. Then we have Junior Tech, who earns from 13000 to 15000. Now salary for Junior Tech will increase after working for 1 to 2 years and it will be 18000 to 20000. Then we have Technician, who can earn from 20000 to 25000. After working for 2 to 3 years, he she can earn from 25,000 to 50,000. Then we have senior tech and here you can earn 80,000 to 85,000 depending on organization. Then we have foreman and can earn from 1 lakh to 1.2 lakh. Now you might ask who is foreman. Foreman is a person without papers and has good experience and is one level below the AME. Category A AME, who is fresher, can earn from 80,000 to 90,000. The Category B1 or B2 holder, a junior AME can get 1.5 to 2 lakh. The aircraft maintenance engineer in non-schedule can earn from 2 lakh rupees to 3 lakh rupees and more. Now depending on complexity of organization, we have deputy general manager who can earn from 3 lakh rupees to 4 lakh. The general manager can earn from 4 lakh to 5.5 lakh and more while the director of engineering division can earn up to 6 lakh rupees per month. Yes, they get the highest salary and is the topmost post and with the years salary keeps on increasing but it's the age when they are about to retire so it can hardly increase to 1 to 2 lakh per month till retirement. So all this information are not just made by us but it's actually provided to us by my friends, colleagues and idols working in this field. So a special thanks to technician and my brother Ratnagar Tripathi who is working in Taj Air. Also to junior technician brother Gajanan Chaudhary who is working in Spicejet Airlines. To Amy Manoj Rai sir who used to work in Deccan Charters and is a general secretary of All India Amy Association. Also a big thank to technician Sanjay sir from Indigo Airlines and some of my senior working in field. I hope you got some idea about both salary and post in AME field in schedule and non schedule operations. If you found this video informative, do give us a like. Some might not agree with me, so to them I will say it's not made up salary and it's actual for particular organization. But it can vary slightly from country to country, organization to organization and even city to city. Now, if you are still watching, here is your bonus. I have made a summary Instagram post according to posts and salary. Do check it out, link is in description. This was a salary video according to post, but I will soon make a detailed video on post according to experience and I am going to conduct a real Amy interview soon. There is also a good news for Fresher from Air India, which I will reveal in upcoming videos. So subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon to get notification whenever we upload our new video. That was all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in another video with another interesting topic. Till then, keep learning, keep watching, stay safe.